Now, Jerry, how did you get involved with tonight? Well, uh, John Co is a really good friend of mine. He's actually a, a golfing buddy of mine, and uh, we've been talking about this the last four or five years. I saw this from its infancy stage, and to see it now, yeah. uh, I'm not surprised because John, whatever he does, he hits the ground running. But to see it like this is, is pretty cool. So John and I have been friends for, for a lot of years, um, and it's a fun event so far. I got a lot of people uh, out here, pro golfers, uh, other athletes as well. So it's been a fun event so far. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Winning some uh, money for my charity. Yes. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we're going to have pro golfers compete, and whoever wins, they get money for their charity. But also, you're going to have athletes from the NFL, Major League Baseball, and other sports compete as well. So I'm going to participate in that and hopefully win some money for a charity. What is, is there a specific charity or is everybody, do you have a specific one or is it all together there's one you're all fighting for? Well, no, it's, it'll be your choice of the charity okay. and hopefully I win and I will donate my my winnings to the LA Dodgers Foundation. Yes. I'm hoping I win though. Yes. <laughs> and did you prepare tonight? Anything? How, when's the last time you golfed or even hit a golf ball? Well, I'm so glad that you brought up the golf. Uh, I, I did. I did. Speaking play. of the man of the... And John's passing through. Hey, when the light's on, the camera's on. Interview. <laughs> so, I, I did play golf today. I played okay. Greyhawk. Uh, shot a 79. Okay. So my, I'm getting there. I was at, I was about three or four years ago around a 12. Now I'm down at like a seven. Okay, no. Hopefully that. I get down getting to better. like a two or three. I'm getting better. Okay. Is there someone that you really hope to beat tonight? I know it's for charity, but is there one person here, big league, NFL, anyone you're just, ooh, I'm going to beat them? Well, usually baseball players are pretty good at golf, <laughs> so I'm hoping a, a lot of baseball players do not show up or at least not do the event. I saw Vinny Dun Dunnell grow. Yeah. I got a chance to see him play basketball many years ago. Yeah. I shouldn't say many years ago, but he was a great basketball player, great coach, and I heard he's a really good golfer, so uh, I wouldn't mind beating him. Now, speaking of, you did play with the Dodgers. How much of your time was spent on the golf course when you weren't playing baseball? Well, I, I, I usually play in the off season, yeah. and because I was a position player and not a pitcher, yeah. uh, I, I kind of put the clubs down during the season. Yeah. So during the season, I didn't play play a whole lot of golf. But in the off season, I would try to play at least two or three times a week. Why is that? Baseball players and golf—it just goes, you know, like Dan Fleesack, hand in hand, golf. Because it's a ball, and you get a chance <laughs> to hit it. You know what's great about golf now? <laughs> that I'm a retired athlete is I get to hit something and try to hit it really far and I don't have to run and go get it. Yeah. I can just get in the cart <laughs> and hit it again. There you go. Now, after baseball, you're in broadcasting. How was that transition? Uh, it's been a pretty good transition because I played with the Dodgers. I finished yeah. up my career with, with the LA Dodgers and I went right in the broadcast booth with the LA Dodgers. Yeah. So a lot of my, my friends and former teammates are still on the Dodgers. So to have that relationship with them and get a chance to talk about uh, their accomplishments, accolades, yeah. it's pretty cool. Thank you so much. No good luck tonight. Your charity. Yes, hopefully.